Like, how I know? I'm cool, buddy. We are here basically to get to know the wonderful stuff you are doing. Sure, sure. When it comes to electronics, yeah. mostly guys, everything in Africa is imported. But this gentleman is doing amazing in his garage where he's doing this stuff. Quickly, I want my viewers who are out there to get to know the stuff you are doing. Yeah. What are these stuff that I see and are they really made by you here? Yeah, sure. So uh, what you see here, so basically I have two products. I have uh, this LED cord here, which mm. comes with two flavors. This one and that switches the black here, one. the black one. Mm. Uh, there is one uh, that you can't up there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is a very nice plug that we designed because um, there is no such products on our local markets. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we decided to at least build something like this for our market. Mm -hmm. For people who need products like this. I personally, I, I, I love LEDs. So I, when I become happy when I see products made with LEDs mm -hmm. and all that. So quickly, 30 seconds, yes. take us through what this, it, it's function. What does it do? Is so this one gives you time, mm -hmm. it gives you stopwatch, it gives mm -hmm. you countdown, basically. Time, stop the watch, watch calm, calm down, down. Yeah. the day, the day, and the month. Yeah, precisely. Wow, nice, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how how do you? Does it use remote or it's manually operated? Okay, so basically, so we there is a remote that we uh, we use to control it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So with the remote, you can do a lot of things. You can mm -hmm. turn it on and off. Let's do countdown. Yeah, yeah. Control, so it's on off. Yeah, yeah, it's on. Let, let's so do countdown yeah. quickly and let's count see. down. We can go to uh, countdown. Let's yeah. count. Okay. Ten seconds. So ten seconds. Or oh, up to the so set one here, and I press on start. So this tells you that it's count down. Count it's down. down. Oh, so when it's up, then you yeah, start yeah, blowing yeah, the alarm. Yeah, so when you are even exercising or there's a race or something, exercise, you'll exercise. be able to use this one. You want to use one that twenty minutes press up. Now, you can time yourself. Now let's come to the uh, put it up. Yeah. The, now let's come to the packaging. Yes, guys, look. This is made here in Kumasi by an African, a startup. Uh, if you're out there and it fascinates you, support an African business. Make sure you give him sales. The beautiful packaging, the finishing touches is so, so amazing. I want you to explain to us what this is about. What does this one okay, also so be, do? Before I quickly come to this one, mm -hmm. one beautiful, unique thing about our clock is that our clock has a, but there, there is no LED clock that I know. Mm -hmm online international that has mm -hmm. like built-in battery that kind of face stand alone like this without you connecting it to mains to the mains you don't mean it i'm so not seeing anything see. like that yeah yeah you have not seen Precisely. any led Precisely. that is not like, plugged in yes and it runs yeah all the clocks you have you find around if you have to the main when power goes off they are off they are off but this we pro we provide a backup battery that can run for as long as ten good hours. When wow! Power goes off. I see. So this that, is that is very, profound. Yeah, precisely. Mm, until your light comes back precisely, on, precisely, precisely. Then you you it's auto regulate the brightness when power goes off so that it can optimize the use of the power. You can wow. adjust the brightness. You see that this one is very More bright. bright. This one is lower. Uh, okay. Yeah, precisely. Let's come here. Okay, so. This one is a fire alarm system. Uh, mm -hmm. So the problem with most fire alarm systems is that uh, uh, they detect, uh, they are not able to, the alert system is, is poor, right? In the mm -hmm. sense that um, the alarm from the system, they are not loud enough to draw attention. And they don't also, call, we are like, we are in modern time. So what, uh, so what, this one, are this one, what different is this precisely. one? Precisely, so this one, has a very this one uses a very sensitive uh, smoke sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes the slightest change in uh, in the ambience of the room. Pre precisely. Uh -huh. It also it has a temperature sensor that senses the temperature of the ambience. Mm -hmm. So if the temperature is rising beyond a certain threshold, it means that something is getting 
wrong. So if I can say what you say, it means yes. that every commercial building yes. needs this. Precisely. How much does it go for? Uh, this one goes for only 700 CDs. 700 CDs? Only that. Will you be doing the installation yourself or they need to let an electrician do the installation for them? Yes, we can. We, uh, there is an installation manual and oh, the okay. electrician can follow to install it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so it comes with an installation precisely, manual. Precisely, precisely. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow, this is beautiful. And this one comes how much? This one is 600 much? CDs only. 600 CDs? 600 CDs. Okay. Yes. This one? When light goes out, will yes. it still work? Yeah, it will work. Mm. So it's connected to light now. When the light goes off, it's still on. On? Yes. Oh, no, wow. that's not it. That's not it. Mm. Okay. It's still and it's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. Okay. I see. Yes. And there is this product before okay. we come to the story of where you started. Uh -huh. So this one, when it detects, when it detects fire, mm -hmm. there is, it, it, we use a, a very loud alarm for it. It can be a the alarm is very loud. No matter how deep you are sleeping, it will wake up. up. It will wake you up, and it also calls. And you can enter up to two two different numbers. Can we demonstrate that for us to see where it will call you, the house owner? Is it possible? We can do that. We can Let's do, that. do it. Precisely. Let's do it. Okay. So before that, this keypad allows us to enter the number we want to. The system we want the system to call. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if I press on this one. I can add a number. Right. Okay, let it call me. Oh no, my my phone. <laughs> let it okay. call you. Okay, okay. So Dial your number. Okay, so I've already added my number. So we can check the number from here. So this, okay, this, this is my number. number. Mm -hmm. okay, so. okay, so then we have to trigger the system. So it calls. Uh, I need it. Okay. So we are going to simulate some fire around fire. here. Around here. Oh, we are not going to get bent. No. <laughs> let's go. Bent. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay. So um, this, you see some reading here. I can uh -huh. see. This is the reading from the sensor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We've set a certain threshold here, which is 140. So if the reading goes beyond 140, it, it has to trigger. trigger. Okay. Yeah, it has to trigger. So let's go. Okay. So like, um, let me connect the buzzer. But the buzzer is noisy. Uh, we need the noise so that people who are watching will know it works. So this is the, the like the, the ringtone or the, the sound. The sound. Mm -hmm. the sound. Oh, okay. Let's go. So when I do this, you see the the, the value rises, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, okay. so the moment this one, uh -huh, the moment you take the mm -hmm. system the system is going to call. Okay, so the call will come shortly. Okay. So the phone is here. Let's wait. Okay, so the call is coming. Fire alarm. Guys, look! It's gone off. It's, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's do that demonstration again. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Okay. Let's jump out of the loop then. We. We, we, we trigger it again. Okay, so it's calling. Okay. I think this time, we, because we, we have already done it, yeah. we just have to do it again. Okay. So, the light. Uh, okay, the light is. Let's do it. Now, we are demonstrating how it works it in it? case you install it in your home. How good the moment you? there is light or smoke, a little, you know, light or smoke which changes the temperature it will trigger start making noise then send the yeah. phone call yeah. to your phone wherever you are okay so i'm going to trigger so the alarm starts so let's wait patiently for the call let's put out the sound and we wait for the call to come how long does it take for the how many seconds it's, it's a network it's a network issue so guys, you see, it says fire alarm. The moment your house gets uh, some fire triggering or some smoke, and it, it will keep on calling as long as the problem persists. Persists. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Can we can we do something like aside calling you, you automatically call fire service after okay, after. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, we'll keep calling. Yeah, we can do that. 
But maybe it's like, not a like, qualifier. Like, it, it has to be. It has to be like a collaboration with the fire fire service, so that they know that some particular numbers. We need this. We need to sell it to fire service, so that they mm. sell it to homes, buildings, yeah. every mm. commercial building yeah. need it. So fire service can be a customer. Yeah, precisely. We need to visit them. Sure. Yeah, fire service can be a customer. It didn't even cross my mind. Wow. So the fire service will have to, but maybe at certain temperature, mm. which means there is real fire, yeah. then it sends mm. to them yeah. that they come. That we can sell to them and get a commission with everyone that they yes. stop. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Wow. This is beautiful. Now, uh, talk to me about the water stuff you are doing. Make that one acid. Okay. Oh, so he speaks tree as well. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so this is a machine. Um, uh, I designed to help uh, automate uh, the vending of water in, in our rural communities. Uh -huh. uh, so that um, the problem to cities and all that will be, uh, will be solved. So basically, the idea is that uh, each customer in the community will have a, a tag. Uh, okay. Yes, and we provide uh, certain devices that we call writers that. Um, can, that can be used to write uh, credits to these ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's say I can buy a credit of 20 CDs. And put on this one. And put on this one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So when I come, just like the way we go to ECG sale point to buy Pre credits, mm -hmm. credits, the same way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They use the same technology, RFID. So now do you have credit uh -huh. on this one? So this one, I have some credit on it. How does it work? Let's see. Okay, so when I come, I just have to slot it here. It detects. There is a balance of 2,000 CDs on it. Oh, no. Akwaba. Welcome. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. So, when I connect it and there is enough balance, mm -hmm. it opens uh, a particular valve that allows water to flow. To flow. So, as the water is flowing, it keeps on calculating the amount of water flowing, the cost of it, mm -hmm. and it keeps updating the viewer balance. So, it will deduct yeah. it automatically from Precisely. So, your car. Yeah, and it is continuous. Mm -hmm. As soon as you remove it, the valve shuts down. Okay. Make that one acid. Wow. Yes. This is nice. Every community, every village, every town sure. that has commercial selling of water sure. should have it. Wow. Um, how sure are we going to protect this one from theft? Okay. So you the owner. Okay, so um these are um, embedded in concrete structures. Okay. Uh, uh, very uh, very strong concrete structures. So it's very difficult for anyone to, to uh, have anyone to come and remove it. My water falls on it. No 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 no, 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 no. It's it's fully it's fully waterproof. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's fully waterproof. Ghana water. Uh vendors of water, owners of taps around Ghana, Africa, wherever you are. If you have a challenge of your sales, this is it, an automated sales joint where nobody will be handling cash. They buy everything in advance from your end. Yeah. So as and when it deducts from it, yeah. it gives them water. This is beautiful. Where did you learn all this? Well, that, this is a complicated question. Yeah, answer me soon. <laughs> Where did you learn all this? Uh, I know you did. I, 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 you did engineering. Yes. Computer engineering. Yeah, I did computer engineering. But before I went to Ken with computer engineering, I had been playing with electronics. Mm. Uh, so I gathered some practical experience before going to the university. Okay. Uh, but going to the university opened my eyes to a lot of things. Mm. Uh -huh. So. Uh, it's difficult to answer where did you learn like, like I learned everything yeah my uh, practically myself mm. yes wow I think it's it's mind blowing this is what African be this is what I have been advocating for I've been crying for we need to start doing stuff manufacturing is the reasons why African currencies are always going down the yeah. rain yeah always going down we need to make sure we manufacture so what would you want 
say to your would be clan, somebody who would want to purchase this, that, that, or that. So what I want to tell them is that um, these things are made by ourselves, mm -hmm. right? They are products that we we designed and built right here. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, if there is any problem with them, we can fix them, right? If you want them customized, we can do it. Like we have full control over the product. It's not like you buy when it gets spoiled, you need to bring some extra to come or and or it, it becomes a white elephant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is something we have full control over. Mm. Uh -huh. So once you buy a product from us, you you wouldn't have any problems at all. Wow. And this one, yes. if an individual would want to buy, how much does that one go? Because we know the price for these ones. How much does that one go? This one, this one is, uh, is this one is around um, five thousand CDs per uh, one. Yeah. Okay. So can can it come yeah. down? Because the water vendor buying five thousand. I'm saying <laughs> for you guys, I'm bargaining, making sure you get some discount. <laughs> if a vendor is to bring five thousand mm. to buy this yes when are they going to recoup will you be able to bring it down is it possible well looking at the looking at our, our tailor production now it will, be, it will be difficult you know things have gone up yeah i know right and there are a lot of sensitive things that go into this mm. uh -huh. this is just one part of it there's another part the valve parts where the water goes, uh, so it's a whole, it's a solar part to it. It's a whole, oh, it's a whole one system. It's operated by solar. Yeah. Okay. It's a whole so system. Solar, I understand. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's a whole system. Yeah. But, but once you have the system, you will not lose even a penny. At from what? From vendor time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you get your money back quickly, quickly. You quickly. Quickly. Mm -hmm. recoup everything in a very short time. See, yeah. I think I think that makes a business sense. Yeah. Wow. Um. So you are a graduate of Ken West, yeah, sure. and you did um okay, a computer yeah. engineering, and do you have staff that you work with at the moment? Yeah, I have uh, two guys here, two acting guys. Uh, my brother is. Which me. Which year did you complete? Uh, Twenty thirteen. 2013. Yes, yes. Since then, have you had any other job or this is your main? No, this hasn't been. Okay, so um, I work uh, as a part time engineer in uh, at an another startup company, company. Oh. Sessi Technologies. I don't know whether you've heard of Sessi Technologies. I know Sessi. You know Sessi? Ah, he's a friend. <laughs> yeah, no, Sessi is a colleague. Okay. Uh, so we used to be uh, hardware tinkers on mm. campus. Uh, he has so. a fantastic product yeah. that checks this. Yes. Uh, the, the moisture, moisture of uh -huh. so, cereals and yeah so mm -hmm. i am the engineer behind that wow <laughs> i see, <laughs> the I, one, see. The one I, I need to bring <laughs> cc technology uh, on to shower <laughs> city yes yeah wow uh, so you are the engineer behind yeah. it wow 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 wow, wow. Uh -huh, but nice. that is that is like some part-time uh, part-time thing and our, in our part of the world such brains are mostly tapped and sent abroad. Yeah. I hope you don't go. Stay and make Ghana proud. Stay and make Africa proud. Yeah, sure, you will stay. Once again, I am so blown away with what you are doing. I think every building, both commercial and home, should have this. Yeah. They should have this. And every water company, anyone who is into water, will have to have this one. Where did you get money to start in the first place? Because it is a problem in our part of the world, getting funding. Okay, okay. so for funding, uh, I think I have been financing everything myself. Yourself? From yeah, your savings? Yes, yeah, from my savings. You get some small project, you do it. Mm -hmm. The coins you get from it, and now you use them to buy components. You use them to patch up. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because. Uh, it's, it's, it's difficult to uh, I, I think for, for for this club when i about when i was about starting it i wanted to, i spoke to some my professors i have some professor friends mm -hmm. that i needed some amount to 
Mass so you want professor to give you money? Yeah. Okay. Professor no get money. <laughs> professor get brains. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not saying all of them. Some of them do yeah, have money. Uh, but you know, I realized they were like they were not interested. Interesting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But it wasn't so much too. Uh, so I just said, why why don't I just do this myself? Like this is my my thing. viewers are watching. I have apart from Ghanaians, yes. US is my biggest audience people from us watch this channel aside Ghanaians, sure. then followed by nigerians what would you want done what sort of assistance do you need i hope you get my question yes. what do you need to make this one global to make it big okay so um basically i need some a little uh, some machinery Machinery, yes. What sort of machinery? Somebody may buy it and give it to you free of charge. Yes, okay. possible. Okay, so I think right now, uh, what I need so badly is a laser cutter. Laser cutting uh -huh. machine. How, how much does that cost? A laser cut, laser cut is, I think the average they cost from about, I think, uh, 40,000 up. 40,000 US dollars. No, cities. 40,000. No, bring it down in dollars. Forty thousand uh, um, in dollars. Forty thousand. That would be that would be like uh, that would be how much? Is it five thousand dollars? No, a, a thousand dollars is now eight. Let's say eight thousand. Eight thousand times how many? Like mm -hmm. five. Ten thousand. So five thousand to six thousand dollars. Yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Like like six thousand. Yeah, yeah. Mm, six thousand. Uh -huh. That that is from that's from that range. Apple. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know they have bigger ones. Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. Because the laser cutting is one of the is one of the very expensive processes that this thing is going through. Because mm -hmm. when you design, you have to send it to a laser cutter to cut. You see how nice they look. Yeah, but they are done with the, the precision of a laser, of a laser cutter. Uh -huh. And they are the those machines because you don't own them. Those who have them, they charge you a lot for it. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some people who own them in commerce. Yeah, yeah. Where? So um, at Dext, I know Dext. Okay, Dex, they have I've some. Interviewed them on my yeah, channel. Dext, they have some. Uh, there's another guy at uh, Apple Roundabout. He also have, and then Six mm. Dext, you have four okay. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are quite a few mm -hmm. because of that. Uh -huh. Guys, he needs laser cutter. If you are tired, but what he's doing is he's got brains. He's got stuff. So we who are in business, we need to support him to make this thing go out there in every home, in every office. So bro, thanks for hosting us. Um, my prayer at the moment this one is people will be calling you. Uh, can you put out your contact? Do you have a website or social media handles so that they reach out to you and give you business? Okay, so right now there you can only reach me on WhatsApp and on phone. What's your number? Uh, my uh, you can reach me on zero five four six seven nine seven seven nine three. My WhatsApp line is zero two six eight three one seven two eight six. Great. Now that before we leave here, you need Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and right now today. We are going to open one right now. Sure. Because if you are only reachable to only Ghanaians. This can't be global. Yeah. We need to have international presence. So you need social media handles right now. So that every single work you come out with is put out there. Because now our product is hidden under the table. Yes. We need to bring it into the landline so that everyone will see. Thanks for hosting us. It's been a pleasure learning so much yeah, about what you do. Yeah, okay. uh, thank you very much. Yeah, okay.